Liver of sulfur is a patina that will turn copper and silver black. The first step to applying a patina is to get your metal clean. So here I'm cleaning the surface of this metal with a Scotch-Brite pad, but you could do other things to clean the surface of your metal as well, like using pumice powder or sandpaper or any other method where you can get a nice grease-free, fire scale-free surface. As you're cleaning your metal, it's important not to get your fingerprints all over it. So as your piece gets clean, you're going to want to try and handle it only by the edges. Liver of sulfur comes in several different formats, like gels and liquids, but I'm using the rock format. And what you do is you take a small piece and you add warm water, not boiling, but hot water is good, and you let that rock dissolve in the water. It's going to smell bad, like rotten eggs. Once your liver of sulfur is dissolved in the water, you can add your clean metal. You can see how quickly it's going to start to change color. Really just drop your piece in. And while we're letting that change color, I'm going to put dish soap on this brass brush. That's going to lubricate the brass brush and be helpful as I continue the patina process. After your piece starts to change color, you're going to take it out. I use copper tongs to do this. I don't like to get the liver of sulfur on my fingers because it smells bad. And I rinse it off under water. And then I'm going to use that brass brush to burnish the surface of my piece. It might look like some of your patina is coming off at this point, and that's fine. We're going to dip it a few more times. But it's really important that you brass brush the entire surface front and back rinse it off, and then put it back into the patina. I like to repeat this process about three times in order to build up a nice dark surface on my metal. It's really important that you don't leave your metal in the patina for too long, otherwise it's going to build up a thick crusty layer that's just going to flake off. So once you start this process, you just want to stand by your piece and finish it. You don't want to walk away and try to multitask while you're doing a patina. You could do several pieces at once and it wouldn't be a problem, but you would want to make sure that the pieces aren't touching or overlapping in the patina bath. Otherwise, there could be places where um, the, the liquid can't really get to the surface of the metal and it's not going to patina evenly. So I just took this piece out for a second time and I'm brass brushing it again, front and back every surface. And you can tell it's really building up a much thicker, darker layer of patina at this point. But I'm going to rinse the soap off and put it back in the bath at least one more time. Sometimes your piece will have sort of an iridescent or rainbow appearance to it. Usually that just means it needs to stay in the patina just a little bit longer. This is the third time that this piece has been in the patina bath, and because I mix this up fresh, this is probably going to be the last time it has to go in. It's really important that you brass brush your piece after the last time it's been in the bath. So I'm pulling this piece out for the last time, rinsing it off, and I'm going to brass brush it really thoroughly. If you forget this step, your patina is going to be really powdery and it's going to have a weird finish that's going to come off on your hands and your skin. So it's really critical that you don't forget the last step of brass brushing, which really burnishes that patina into the surface and makes it a much more permanent finish. As you patina your piece and as you work on these final steps of the patina, it's important that you continue to handle your metal only by the edges so that you don't create fingerprints on the surface. At this stage, you can go ahead and dry off your metal, and here you can really see what a nice dark patina we got on the surface of this copper. And once it's dry, you could seal it with Renaissance wax or a spray lacquer if you want. 